Hey guys, so last week I got to spend some time in the part of Texas that I grew up in and travel around and a lot of those those areas I've talked to you guys about in the past in different stories on my Minecraft episodes as well as other videos I've made. I wanted to revisit some of these areas, not just for myself, but also to share with you guys. So what you're about to watch here is different episodes of different parts of my childhood, uh, be it the areas I grew up in or areas that were important to me or uh, maybe something important within my life happened at them. So I hope you guys find some enjoyment out of it. Um, some of the video is not as good as I want it to be as far as what I was able to do with my with the equipment I had or also the access that I had to some of the areas. But I do think that it will be enjoyable and hopefully you guys will uh, find some enjoyment out of, as, as, out of it as, as I did. Hello again. So this is where, as you can see, the concrete ends and the dirt road begins. And that's why the bus would not go past right here. Um, so every day I'd get dropped off from the bus right here. There used to be a house right there. It's gone now. Um, I think there was another one right beside it. In fact, I think it was pretty, pretty sure there was two houses right here. One there and one right there past where that tree's at. And, uh, yeah. Every day right there with that Century 21 sign, uh, I'd get dropped off by the bus and I'd start my walk home. And, uh, this is it, man. This is the life of... 12-year-old <laughs> and under Jason and his walk home from school every day. And it's it kind of a long walk. I remember one time I'd got a really bad grade, man, and I uh, got my report card. And I thought if I just didn't give my parents my report card, then I would be good. It's supposed to walk with traffic or against, against isn't it? <laughs> man, it is windy. I forgot to get my jacket again. Um, uh, a cold front's coming in here in Texas. And uh, it's cold, a cold, cold front. <laughs> so anyways, as you can see, Texas is a junky place, man. Like, I don't see stuff, stuff around where I live these days. You know, you don't see a boat. Like, what the fuck is that boat doing? Who knows, right? Um, so anyways, I threw my report card over there somewhere at one point in my life. It didn't do me no damn good, though. I'll tell you that much. So I've told the story about uh, this trailer. This trailer that uh, got abandoned out this way. And it's right over this hill here. But uh, <laughs> sorry, I keep pausing. I keep, like, little things will bring back the strangest of memories, man. I tell you what. So rewalking these steps has, uh, has definitely done that for me. There's no question about it. Um, is my camera straight? We're looking at the... Oh my god, camera reception. <laughs> it's kinda kinda angled a little bit, isn't it? That'd be my head. Anyways, <laughs> your head's wrong, Jason. So uh right there, that house you can see right over the crest of the hill there. Um not the one I'm looking at now. Right there. That's where the kid lived that told uh told his dad that that I found a shotgun in that trailer. And I did not, I did not find a shotgun in that trailer. There was no shotgun. There never was a shotgun. Little asshole. <laughs> uh, yeah, right over there, right down that road right there. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to look at all this stuff. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I'm going to be satisfied with the GoPro footage because it's the footage of, of all the, the, the areas here. Um, and this is just my, my face. So if I get back... I don't like the GoPro footage, and all I got is uh, footage of my face. I'm going to be a sad, sad motherfucker. So anyways, right here in front of me here, you see these buildings and everything coming up. This uh, red barn, this uh, little white building. None of that was there. That's all new. But where that red barn is, that's the exact location of the trailer that was once abandoned out there. All of these other houses are still the same houses they were when I lived here. Um, that uh, that one right there, the one that's kind of got the the beige siding, that was uh, <laughs> the only thing. The only memory I have from that house is being friends with like the three little kids that lived in there, and none of them believed in Santa at any point in their life. They were just blown away by even the thought of such a thing. 
And I guess that's probably pretty common in areas that are kind of less fortunate money-wise to tell your kids that there is no Santa. I know the same was uh, was true of my wife's family, you know. Maybe, maybe, you know, I mean, it's not, you know, that's not the only circumstance, but like in, in her in her case, it was uh, her and her brothers. I heard something coming up on me here. Uh, her and her, you know, she had three brothers too. And uh, just not enough money to go around to be buying extravagant presents from Santa, right? So yeah, right here where, where all this stuff is right now, there was once a trailer filled with Playboy magazines. And uh, I spent a good time in there. <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> these trees right here, I can't remember what they're called. They have these like big balls on them. Man, this conversation's weird. <laughs> these are big ball trees. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm, my pants are falling here. And I should have worn my belt. No, I don't. <laughs> it's like, should have tightened my belt. Oh, here comes somebody up on me here. I gotta get out of the road. So, uh,. This, this this bridge you can see up here in the distance um, it was uh, it was always built because all this oh damn I forgot about mm, mm, ah. good old sand in your teeth fuck <laughs> uh, dirt roads man dirt roads so I don't know where I've seen three cars go this way and I can't imagine where any of them are going so I know everybody that lives up there uh, I'm about to get ate alive. Eight plum alive. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> uh, so anyways, this this bridge up here, that was all built by uh, my family, basically. I remember one time it went out, and uh, so there wasn't any way to get, to get up to where we lived. Uh, and it took like a month to rebuild it. <laughs> He's gonna eat me alive! <laughs> He was not amused. He was not amused at all. <laughs> he didn't give a shit about me. Uh, you ain't funny, you Easter coaster motherfucker. You got a horse. Um, <laughs> man, I tell you what, I ain't met a single person here with the same disposition. Um, everyone, other than Wayne, has treated me like a complete stranger and kind of side-eyed me. Like, why are you here? You're not, you're not a relatives, you know. And I'm fine with that. Um, I don't plan on really ever seeing any of them again. As I talked about it in the, uh, well, I don't know if I, I don't know if I've, I don't know how this video and all stuff's going up. But I talked, I, you know, I did a little walk around. <laughs> oh man, my 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 preview is not a preview. I'm gonna stop and restart. Right. I don't know if I've lost any footage there. My uh, I have this this preview here of my phone and the preview stopped working, so I got a little worried, so I restarted here. So if I've missed anything, right there where those barns are, used to be the old trailer filled with Playboys. And now I've walked up here to the bridge. And whenever I read Stephen King's It, there's a part in it where Ben sees It for the first time. And this is the scene I always imagine. He's standing on a bridge and uh, you know, down in the water is the clown, and he turns into a mummy and kind of comes for him. And this is this is the only visual I could ever ever imagine. Whenever I uh, when I read that part of the story, so this this bridge here was built, like I said, all by Wayne's family, and it's always been kept up. It's it's uh, there used to be. You can see right down there, there used to be. Um, a little side road that you could kind of go around if the bridge was out but it would often get flooded when there was a flood so there was the bridge too um, but if you see if you see this tree right here right here in front of me that I'm pointing at that tree right there was covered I mean covered in poison uh, oak and I didn't know it I didn't even know what poison oak looked like man we built a little fort in there Uh, we spent about three days in there, and I was covered in poison oak. I mean, nothing like you've ever seen before. Um, 
and I st I'm still scarred. Like there's a if you look at my left arm where my elbow is, there's like these rough bumps, and it's from the part of poison oak that I just could never could never heal. That's an extreme road, extreme road right there. But uh, yeah, we're almost we're almost there, really. You know, when I was younger, this seemed like such a long walk, but it's really not that bad. Over here on the left, the guys that live there were uh, um, he was the junk collector. I've talked about him before in videos. He uh, he had just all these cars, you know. Um, and one time he cleaned them up. And that's the only time I've ever seen a tarantula in the wild. Our yard had like two or three tarantulas come through that I saw during that time. So this is the this is the only hard part about the whole walk really here. This hill you always had to go up. Hated it. I remember coming down this hill right here on my bicycle. About <laughs> 8 billion miles an hour on a dirt road. And I ended up throwing my bike down before I got back down there to the... Uh, to the bridge so I didn't end up in the creek. <laughs> uh, so yeah, my, my wife and daughter are up here waiting on me in the car. So I gotta get up here to them. And uh, but yeah, most of the stuff out here is still pretty much the same. Uh, it's it's really strange walking this, this road again, that's for sure. Right over this hill here on the right, there's um, it's an area of Wayne's. And when I was younger, he would always give me stuff to do. Not because it needed done. Some of it did, I'm sure. It was almost like digging ditches and filling them back up again. He knew I needed some little uh, some allowance, and I had a shitty fa stepfather, not father. Um, so Wayne always made sure. You know, I'd get a little allowance or something. But I had to work for it. Didn't just get it. This road's mighty busy. <laughs> um, yeah. So it was up here on the right, right over this, this hilltop. That was a little area of Wayne's, too, and there was little buildings there. They're not there anymore. I don't know, you know, who knows what happens to this type of stuff. Man, it sounds like a damn freight train's coming. I remember to close my mouth and eyes this time so I don't get full of sand. <laughs> uh, but anyways, all the little buildings are still there, honestly. So we had this Doverman. I can't remember his name. I I mentioned it to Wayne, but like he said, there's been too many damn dogs. Remember all of them. But uh, he he disappeared. Couldn't find him, and we never did until we found his bones. That's how bad, that's how long it took us to find him, is we found his bones in that little building right there. So man, we're about here. That was quicker than I thought it would be. So right over here on the left, that's where the junker lived. Which there's still a little bit of junk in there. Not a lot though. Um, and then the next road over here is where I grew up. Oh, okay. Yeah, that building right there. There was all this film in there, like tons of uh, undeveloped film, I remember. I used to go in there and play with it. Sure, it's ruined because I played with it. <laughs> it's all kinds of exposed to light. I'd unroll it. So over there on the left, that's uh, that's the trailer I lived in. And uh, my brother's brother's aunt lives there now, and she's got two kids as well. Um, and funny enough. They're not, you know, they don't live right here, but they have been visiting this week. They're about to get deployed. But there it is. That's where uh, that tree right there behind the black truck. I used to sit in front of that or climb up in that all day. And hell, that basketball court's or thing's still in the same spot it was whenever I lived here. But. I think that's going to conclude our tour of Jason's bus walk home. Um, <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed. Bye bye.